Hi there guys, it's Michael V here. Um, I'm gonna be doing a walk around of Tilt Studio Indianapolis. This is via request uh, from the Arcadia website. I guess they uh, categorize and list arcade machines and what have you. Uh, go check them out, they're amazing. But <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through Tilt Studio and show you all the machines. Maybe talk a little bit about them. This video probably will get a little bit long, so uh, only watch if you're that interested. I'll try my best not to be too shaky, but I will be walking around, so that's the thing that happens. Uh, Tilt Studio wasn't always Tilt Studio. This location was originally called Sega City, uh, and then it was bought by Universal Studios and became GameWorks, and then it was bought back by Sega. I think that's the right history. And it became Sega GameWorks. And then Sega Gameworks went bankrupt a couple years ago and took all their assets and shrunk them down. And this location was closed for three months. In those three months, it was bought by a company called Nickels and Dimes, which was founded in 1972 by uh, Chris Singer uh, to put himself through college. Um, and he reopened this place as a Tilt Studio. His company normally calls his arcades Tilt, and they decided to keep the studio actually via the request of uh, the general manager of this location. And now Tilt Studio is a national brand. They have several Tilt Studios throughout the United States. And I'll start right here. So this is the first ever Tilt Studio in the United States. So check that out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start this walkthrough. Um, you know, Galloping Ghost is known for their extensive classic collection. Uh, two things that Tilt does very, very well. Uh, we have a lot of fighting games. But what we do best is our racing games. Because this is Indianapolis. So let me take you through the racing section. You guys have already seen this one, Fast and Furious. One of the earliest Raw Thrills titles. Big fan of Raw Thrills. On the other side is a machine that I, I have, I'm less fond of, which is Revolt. Right here, we got Initial D3, uh, version three. Uh, this one is equipped with the cards so that you can upgrade all your stuff. We have Midnight. Uh, Maximum Tune 3, I think I'm reading that right. We have Rolling Extreme, which is currently under repair. Keep in mind, this is a large arcade and there are going to be some machines that are down. Alright, so over here, we got a uh, Sega Rally Championship. Got a Mario Kart, making sure I'm keeping the kids out of frame. We got two uh, mini uh, Indy 500s. Uh, we got a NASCAR Racing, two of those. We got one San Francisco Rush and uh, two Cruising Worlds over here with new screens. And then we also have some Cruising Worlds over here. This is really cool. This is Sega's Indy 500. It's the big version of the machine we just saw. A really cool thing, this is one of the rarest arcade machines on Earth. Uh, I forget how many there are made of these, but uh, it's a very small number, uh, obviously because they're so large. So, uh, yeah, it's a rarity to get a chance to play one of these, and uh, we get to play it whenever we want. Pretty cool. Uh, we got Fast and Furious Superbikes, which is the game that came right before Superbikes 2 by Raw Thrills, which is probably one of the best arcade games out. Two more Cruising Worlds with their original screens. They're probably looking like they might need to be replaced here in a bit. A Sega Super GT, and Need for Speed Underground. Some of the newest machine is right here. This is Harley Davidson, King of the Road. Really fun competitive racer. Shooting over here, got a giant primeval hunt. And uh, the Japanese Time Crisis 3. We also have uh, an American Time Crisis 3 and two American Time Crisis 2s. Here is our first section of the fight section, uh, if that makes any sense. So we got a couple of Marvel vs. Capcom 2s, that's one of them. Got a uh, Guilty Gear XX, a Soul Calibur 2 that's under repair, it actually just went down today. Moving around here, got another Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and a Marvel vs. Capcom 1. We got three. Um, I have four, sorry, four Hyper Bowls, which are a really great trackball style bowling game. We got two arcade uh, Star Wars trilogy arcades. And a big host of claw machines. You'll see plenty of those. Uh, got a fantasy wheel. 
Right next to the fantasy wheel is uh, is Flaming Finger, which is actually one of the most fun little uh, ticket games. Come back around to the middle section last. So we got a sumo. These are really awesome. You know, I think it's like hydraulics or something. Either way, it moves. Uh, inside of this one is Air Raid, Beachhead 2000, uh, Air Strike, which is my favorite, and they also have a Star Wars game, which is not very good. Uh, we got plenty of sports games here. So you got NFL Two Minute Drill. We got two Hoop Fevers, a one shoot to win, and two Rage in the Cage. As any good arcade should have. Got three ice balls, and then uh, two ski balls. And then uh, one of the more recent ones that we just added is this oldie but a goodie, uh, Jurassic Park Lost World. We got some more fighting games here. That's uh, Tekken Tag, it's Marvel vs. Capcom 1. This is uh, Dead or Alive 2, SVC Chaos. So uh, SNK versus Capcom, SVC Chaos. Uh, this is an interesting piece. This is a uh, Tekken 6, but it's what's called a UTE, and you'll hear me use that term later. A UTE is essentially, it's an Xbox that is inside of an arcade cabinet, and you pay for time. So basically, you put in uh, how long you want to play it, and it accesses the Xbox. So this isn't an original arcade cabinet, it's kind of a glorified MAME cabinet, if you will. And then we got a uh, Virtual Fighter 3 in its original cabinet, which is really nice. And then Monopoly Coin Pusher, which, uh, you know, they're alright. Over here we got a Betty Bling, which is a really nice coin pusher. And then probably the best uh, claw machines that you can buy, which are Sega UFO catchers. They work really well, and you can uh, really set everything the way that you like them. We got a uh, Flips, another great coin game. Sega Bass Fishing, which has the best tagline ever. I don't know if you guys can read that, but infinite possibilities and unknown power. Sega Bass Fishing. Got a really cool, uh, you know, fishing rod. Got a deal or no deal, and we have another one of those. This is probably my favorite arcade machine here. Afterburner Climax. Uh, superior in every possible way to the original Afterburner. It moves, uh, which, you know, the, there's a cabinet of Afterburner that moves. But it's just, man, this game is fun. A uh, fun fact is the world record for this machine was set on this machine. Uh, so the Twin Galaxies world record for this was set by Robert Bergeron um, a couple years back, I think. Uh, yeah, so world record machine right there. Uh, taking you over here, we got a uh, Pump It Up. Uh, it says it's the oldies but goodies, but it's actually a uh, next generation system. We've got a Dance Dance Revolution X. And over here we have a Dance Dance Revolution Supernova 2. And a Face Place, which is horrible. And a Let Me Dance, which is horrible. Alright, so we got this <laughs> Jawbreaker Plunger, so if anyone's looking for that. I remember how I was talking about those UTEs. Well, here's another one of those Xbox and an arcade machine. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Super Street Fighter 4. Um, this is an original Tekken 5 Dark Rebellion uh, machine, which is really great. Soul Calibur 3 Arcade Edition, which has, uh, I think it's called like Legendary Mode or whatever. Either, either, yeah, it was where you build legendary characters, and man, that's fun. We got Sammy Trophy hunting bear and moose outdoors. Uh, it's a fun little shooter. We got Extreme Hunting. Uh, this is another one of our Twin Galaxies World Record machines. Uh, both the multi-credit and single-credit world record are held on this machine by Andrew Dambrowskis. Got two uh, two spicy machines linked up for multiplayer play. Really fun machine. Big Buck Hunter 2. Uh, this machine's under repair, but Sports Shooting USA. And Silent Scope, which is nice. Got some... Uh, a stacker lighthouse double, a uh, tilt big choice. <clears throat> right out here, uh, just for completion's sake, uh, we have uh, four more, five more Sega UFO catchers and a standard nickels and dimes circle crane. All right, let's go take a look at the middle section. Hopefully, you guys are still enjoying. <laughs> uh, 
I've been working here for maybe like four years now. I've seen a lot of different changes. Um, some claw machines. Uh, Arcadia contacts me every now and then begging me to do this and I decided to finally uh, go ahead and do it. Because, yeah. Uh, but our inventory does change a lot. We do sell our machines during the holidays. Normally one or two gets sold and then we uh, use that to buy new games. All right, so here in the middle segment, we have two Wheel of Fortunes and a SpongeBob ticket game, which that's actually uh, pretty good, pretty good. There's the other Wheel of Fortune. We have the Demon of the Arcade itself. Sega, uh, not Sega, just Big Bass Wheel. It's not Sega, Sega's over there. Um, that machine makes ridiculously a lot of money. It's pretty silly. We've got a couple coin games here, coins and smoke and token. And then the uh, a big haul machine. What's that? Don't worry, I'm blurring everybody out. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right, so that's a uh, that's a slam a winner. People freaking out about being seen on the interwebs. Then another slam a winner. A uh, cotton candy dispenser. Standard ticket eater. Over here, you got a marksman. I know you're like, oh god, all these redemption games. Don't worry, we'll get to the good stuff. It's a stacker and a uh, nickels and dimes double crane. All right, over here we have Harley Davidson. Um, this is Harley Davidson and the LA Riders. It's a good classic. Here's one that GGA just got, Sega Strike Fighter. I'm not a big fan of that game, but it has historical importance. Okay, so for our shooting games, we got Crisis Zone, Gunblade, Special Air Assault Force, New York. Got Kick It Pro, which isn't really a shooting game, but man, it's fun. Got a Rambo. House of the Dead 4, which is another one of our world record machines. Um, world record uh, for highest score, according to Twin Galaxies. Set by Ricky Stamp. This is LA Machine Gun. Really, really great shooter. Over here we have two Psycrafts. Both of these Psycrafts uh, have initial D in them. Two basic air hockey machines. Another deal or no deal. We're actually almost done. Three top skaters. A brave firefighter. And then it ends with the tilt big one again. So there you guys have it. That's a quick rundown of uh, all the games inside a tilt studio in Indianapolis. One of the uh, last great arcades of Indianapolis. So uh, until next time guys, hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough.